Uh, first of all, it's very energetic. Um, I think from the coaching staff and the players, everyone was excited to get back on the floor. Um, I know during these tough times, um, for us to be able to be blessed and be able to get on the court um, was fantastic. Um, everybody went through um, pretty much everything, you know, except for Jay, you know, because he's out. But, you know, guys went through the offensive sets, we went through the defensive sets. Um, so, you know, every, pretty much everyone was on the floor yesterday. What, I remember when you, you were hired, you mentioned you wanted to have your assistants play strong roles in what they could um, could do. Like, I guess what are the roles for Chauncey and Dan and Kenny specifically? Um, Dan's doing a lot of the defense. Um, Kenny is in charge of our player development um, because he's done a great job, you know, everywhere he's been. And even being a head coach in Brooklyn, you know, just, you know, player development was always a strong suit in how he developed his young guys and young players. And we've seen how good they've gotten. And um, Chauncey's just, you know, both offense and defense, player development, um, just, you know, finding his way and, you know, trying to find his niche. So, um, you know, Roy Rogers, he's doing, you know, some of the defense and the big man player development. And uh, Larry Drew is helping me with the offense like he did in Cleveland. Thank you. Next we'll go to Miriam. Hey there, welcome. Welcome back, Ty. Thank you. <laughs> Um, so, uh, I, I don't know how much you heard about it, but Chris Haynes was reporting this morning a little bit about the NBA's new resting policy. Um, I wondered if you knew anything about that and if that might impact how you guys sort of go about um, how you taking care of or how you play guys or how you stagger guys or anything like that. No, ma'am, I haven't seen this yet, so I'm sorry. No, no worries. Um, and then, I guess, otherwise, uh, Terrence was just saying a lot of good energy in the building and, and echoing what you said. Um, specifically, what are, what are you seeing from him? I'm the young guy. Um, Terrence has been great. You know, I think he put in a lot of, you know, good work this off season. Even in the bubble, he trained a lot and just was getting better. And um, you can see in his second year, he's more comfortable. Um, he knows all the plays. He's more comfortable in you know, who he is, who he is as a player. And um, he's picked up things, you know, very well. So you can see him on the side helping some of the vet veteran guys, some of the young guys. He's talking to those guys, getting them in the right position. So. Um, he's really grown, you know, as a player. His shots improved a lot, and um, you know, looking forward and excited to you know get him on the floor this year. Thank you. Next up, we'll go to Cam. Hey, good, good morning, Coach. I got a two-part question. Hey, not a whole lot. I got a two-part question for you. What traits will be indicative of a Ty Lue coach team? And then, secondly, how much focus will you, as a coach, or your coaches, put on camaraderie? Or is that a responsibility of the players to work on that? Well, for camaraderie, I think it's just more of just being on the floor together. You know, I think like, you know, talking about last year, which I don't want to do a lot of, it's just, you know, PG had shoulder surgery. So he was out for the whole training camp, missed the first 11 games. You know, Kawhi was out for training camp. And when PG got it, kind of got a roller last year, you know, he pulled his hamstring, so he was out again. So I just think being healthy, being on the floor together, um, that would make up for a lot of the chemistry, um, chemistry um, things that we had last season. Um, as far as the team that I want to put on the floor, it's just tough, you know, gritty. You know, Patrick Beverly, Patrick Beverly reminds me a lot of myself when I play, just defensively, you know, a defensive mindset of getting into people, you know, being the instigator. And then, with, you know, two of the best two-way players in the game with Kawhi and PG, you know, we definitely want to be defensive minds, have a defensive mindset. Thank you. Next, we'll go to Ohm. Hey, Ty. I know in uh, pre-pandemic times, most camps start with like a team dinner where people are able to deliver like a message to the team that sets the tone for camp. I was wondering, uh, what, what did you do to kind of replace, you know, if you, if you weren't able to have a team dinner, what did you kind of do to replace that? And what was the theme of your, your message and your goal to the team to set the tone of camp? Um, I would tell you, but you might give my secret away. So <laughs> I'm not going to tell you, but uh, we have some plans coming up in the next couple of days or so. Um, we just wanted to be able to sit down and have dinner and just talk and get to know each other. You know, we have some new guys on the team. We have new, a new coaching staff. So we all just want to get familiar and just talk and you know, get to know each other. You know, a little team bonding moment. But I'm not going to tell you when. I'm not going to tell you how. Did you already kind of deliver your theme, though, as far as maybe your message to the team of, you know, how you want them to play or how you want them to be and kind of set the tone for camp? Um, that would be, um, I can't tell you what day, but yeah, we're going to do that soon. And um, I talked to all the guys individually, um, but now it's time to talk, you know, as a whole team and as a staff and just let them understand what I'm looking for, 
um, how I want to play, you know, who we want to play through, and how it should look. So um, we're doing that very soon. Thank you. Next up, Tomer. Hey, Ty, it's good to see you. I'm curious if you can tell us, um, you know, with a veteran team like this, how much are you implementing an offensive system and how much of this is just sort of letting guys do their things and maybe installing like a light you know, movement offense sort of thing? Um, I think you have to have a system in place, you know, with, with any team you coach and just putting guys in their spots to be comfortable and um, just teaching and showing our guys how to play after the play. So we want to play for Lou Will and he comes off, he doesn't have anything. When he makes a swing pass, you know, being able to get into a step up of one to the second side, pick and roll to the swing to the step up. So just teaching our guys how to play after the play. We run some for Kawhi or run some for PG or Marcus. You know, we know where, where guys are supposed to be at, and then we know what we're going to do when, once the pass is made, you know, out of that action. Okay, thanks. Thank you. Next, we will go to Shane Young. Hey, Ty, good morning. Uh, yes, I, I think we I think we saw Zubats take a, a – few steps forward last year uh do you see him have be, being signed up for a, a monster year or another leap uh, from him this year yeah i think it's going to be a great year for zoo um you know very smart you know picks things up very well um like he knows all five positions like he's the point guard you know the point guard should know all five positions but zoo knows where everybody's supposed to be at the court offensively and defensively and then get the experience that he got you know in the bubble last year um you know, when the unfortunate thing happened with Trez, you know, Zoo had to take a, um, a bigger step forward offensively and defensively for us. And the bump, we played those fourth quarter minutes, those late game minutes, and um, he built up confidence. And um, that's a good thing for him going into this, going into this season. Thank you. We have time for one more. Um, we'll go back to Miriam. Hey, thanks. Um, Ty, I, I don't know, but um, the positive COVID tests in Portland, they had to shut down their facility, and I guess Toronto has had a few too. Does that kind of kind of heighten you guys' awareness and, and wanting to, to be safe out there? Does that give you any concern? Yes, um, we always want to be safe. And um, we're following the NBA protocol. I think our guys are doing a great job of, you know, staying safe, wearing their masks, you know, washing their hands, um, not coming in contact with a lot of people. And, um, you know, it's tough times right now. We understand that. So we just want to just continue to follow protocol, continue to be safe, and we want the world to be safe as well. And hopefully we can get through this soon. Thank you. 